Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, Daily Tactics here, and today we find ourselves on the green, luxurious planet of Naboo. Um, the clones, Gungans, and uh, native Nabooians, if that's what they're called, have set up a defense all along this uh, city. I don't know if it's exactly feed or, or whatever, um, but it, it is certainly a Naboo city. And uh, Padme, Amidala, uh, is big chillin' here. She's got her blaster out, pointed at the at the stairs. She was ready for some action. Um, but essentially, the Separatists got word that uh, Padme was gonna be in this location, so they sent a military uh, to go and attack the city. Um, there are a wide variety of droids with various weapons. They've got three AAT tanks. Um, they are reared up and ready to go. They also have other landing locations. They have a few squads over here, a um, few squads way to the back left over here, um, and then of course the main main force in the middle here. The clones themselves have uh, defenses all over the place. They have these little, um, almost fortress basey type things, little small put together randomly things um, here over here um, over here and over here so little outposts um, they've got a couple of these Naboo uh, tanks which are pretty cool looking I dig the designs on these I think they're pretty dope um, and then they've also got some of these beam turrets place sporadically every every once in a while so it should be a very fun battle I'm really excited to see this defense in action and uh, yeah by the way, my uh, my Instagram link in the description below. I'm trying to get more followers on there, so if you're interested at all, hit me up there. But without further ado, guys, let's get this started. All right, here we go, boyos. Pressing start. Da -da -la, da -da -da -la. Incoming battle droids. Here's some AATs coming forward as well. Very nice. A very nice. I like. Okay. Got a couple runners here. Oh, actually, maybe only the three. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, yeah, I won't stop those three if, if it's only them. That's okay. That's all right. First defense over here from the clones. I think this might be where the first shots get fired. And yeah, it does look like a, uh, a Nabooian guard did take a pot shot at that runner. Missed, and then these guys finished him off. Now these, uh, these defenders... They're taking some fire. Oh, they're actually getting shot at from the back over here, too. This force coming at them a little bit. A couple of droids dying over here, too. Uh, okay, one of the AATs hits that beam turret very, very hard with a, uh, a round from its blaster. That is no bueno. Took out that beam turret nicely. The rest of the clones in this defensive position beginning to fire out. A um, couple more troopers going down. Uh, these outside bases, I don't expect to last for too long. I expect they'll get at least a, a couple kills, you know. They'll they'll take out some droids, but they're really just sort of, you know, slow down the droids a bit, um, try and do some damage, and then, you know, they'll, they'll perish, and then the main line defense is in the back. The clones do have, actually, a very interesting variety of troopers. I thought it'd be fun to just sort of get some randos in there. So we've got ARC troopers in both red and blue, uh, one being... I think officially their ranks are lieutenant and captain, but I mean, they're just ARC troopers. Um, we've also got some of the 65th course on guard, which I'd assume would be the troopers who were uh, protecting Padme there. Um, and then we've also got uh, a couple of ARF troopers in here. There, here's one right here who uh, he must have evacuated that ship and, and hopped on out right quick. AAT is fully attacking here. This one's gotten stuck on the rocks. Actually, let's go back here. I want to see if this base has fallen. Yes, it has fully fallen. Um, clones biting the dust over here. They only managed to get a couple of droid kills, um, but they did get a, a number of droid kills over here too. Good to see. Um, how are these dudes doing? They're taking some losses, but they still have beam turrets active and firing at the droids off in the distance. This guy does end up going down, though. Oof. Um, side defense is over here, including this uh, tank. It looks like this tank is not really doing too much, but these beam turrets are firing into the enemies ahead. Here's a Jar Jar, a Gungan, firing off at some of these droids in the distance. Very, very nice. Um, yeah, so there's ARF troopers, ARC troopers regular clone troopers uh and then they've also got uh 65th coruscant guard in there and uh naboo 
soldiers and feed palace guards as well as Gungans. So we got like a whole lot of variety going on here. Looks like one of the AATs, actually two of the AATs have been uh, taken out. They bite the dust. Oh, all three. Okay. Uh, looks like the clones who are defending this sort of uh, entrance into the city did manage to wipe them out quite nicely. Not before taking some... Look at this. The, those tanks did some damage. They felled some trees. They they hit these clones hard before the clones finally took them out. Now it's sort of light skirmishing um, between the uh, battle droids who are sort of scurrying very, very far forward and um, the, the initial defenses of the clones. Uh, there's also some troopers up here in this mountain side-ish thing, and uh, they seem to have almost all perished. There's like one or two in this bush, I think. And so they're actually putting up a final defense. You can't really see them. They blend in. That's why they're alive. They're perfectly camouflaged. Um, but they actually, they're managing to get a solid amount of kills and, and sidetracking almost the entire droid army. Very nice. Very impressive. Um, yeah, how many troopers are in this bush? Only two. They're doing their job. This way he's got two kills. This guy's got three. They're like, they're holding. One of them's a, a palace guard. The other's an arc trooper. And they're just killing these droids that are around in the corner. Impressive. What's the rest of the army doing? So these guys over here are sort of um, hanging out on this hill. So we're seeing sporadic laser fire. Um, oh, actually, this tank has pushed out a little bit. And its main turret seems to be targeting some of these battle droids, which is kind of cool. Um, I always think these tanks look so derpy because the... The clones, or palace guards, whoever's commanding them, are looking down at the center console, like, to fire, but then the turret itself is facing another way. So it just looks weird, you know? Naturally, you'd think they'd be moving with the turret, but instead the turret moves and they look through, like, the scope of the turret or something like that. Um, but they are actually managing to nail some of these battle droids back here. Very nice. Um, droids now sort of moving in, trying to take it out bit by bit. Doing some sporadic fire. I think this thing's just trying to hold back the army a little bit. Maybe give the defenders of the city itself some more time. You know, just sort of catch catch them some time. Um, we still got a couple beam turrets over here. Um, some troopers over this way. Lots of them ducking uh, for cover as more um, droids come around here. They're they're sort of gathering in this bush, shooting down at the um, clones and and soldiers. The Jar Jars do have their um, big old blue grenades, uh, but the droids do have to be kind of close for them to actually work, so we'll see if the Jar Jars actually do really anything at all here. <laughs> I'm not totally sure. Um, this sort of main entrance area, still damaged from the tanks, but there's still still characters alive here, and they'll um, as these droids get closer, they'll, they'll begin engaging a little bit more. Um, off to the right over here, it looks like these droids finally did kill our two heroes over here. Oh my god, they must have grenaded as this patch of grass is totally destroyed. It took a grenade. Oh, look at all the dead droids over here. Wow, these, these two were heroes. Um, these guys going for this entrance over here. There's a Jar Jar just sort of derping here. He's got... He threw the thing! Woo! <laughs> Might be the only Jar Jar kill we see of this entire battle. Also got an ARF trooper sort of guarding this entrance over here. I imagine this area will be a, a solid defensive point because there's not a lot of clones, but they've got a tight choke point here. So I'm excited to see this. Um, over here in this main area, these guys, yep, they are opening up. As I sort of predicted, they would start to uh, really have to lay down some fire. That's a very cool screenshot there. I like that. Took, took a few photos. Um, droid sort of hopping up into this... Uh, foliage area it's tough because the foliage is it's so hard to see the droids beneath the foliage you can get like glimpses of them but there might be like 10 droids in here and all i'm seeing is like two uh but they are engaging with the clones a couple of clones over here engaging as well 65th course on guard trooper hiding among amongst the bushes the bushes trooper over here looks like a feed guard oh he does go down um Looks like that turret over there is getting a few kills. Nice, nice, nice. This entrance was sort of neglected by the droids. They really didn't attack it too much. Oh my god, this tank is still... Oh no, it's dead. Um, looks like the clones were shot out of it. But its sirens are going off, which is kind of interesting. Now this main droid force is really pushing um, towards the clone defenses over here. 
we have to presume that these vehicles over this way are out of order or something like that. Droids actually managing to finally get into the city. They're taking some losses over here as uh, clone defenders sort of pick them off as they come on in. Um, they're also having to deal with getting shot from the side over here as some palace guards and stuff are alive in this little hangar bay area where these broken tanks or whatever are chilling. So yeah, droids trying to get in here. This clone is down to his pistol. That's a big oof right there. Maybe he uh, was grenaded or something and it, it dislodged his weapon. That's what tends to happen. I didn't put any pistol troopers in here, so he must he must have lost it somehow. Yeah, so droids taking a lot of losses over here. Um, I really thought the main assault from the droids would be coming from this way, but it's really diverted off to this side section over here. Um, might even be better for the clones because it's more of a choke point than this larger scale area over here. This battle definitely took a turn for where I really didn't expect it to. Um, the bad thing for the clones is the droids do have more cover over here that they're going to be able to utilize, which is um, a bit more costly. Means they'll they'll be able to set up a bit better as they're attacking. Uh, more droids sort of funneling through this area. Clones getting some good kills. Palace guards getting some good kills, but inevitably these guys are falling. Yeah, that this little uh, courtyard area wasn't going to last forever. Oh, getting some nice grenades off there, but. Uh, no dice doesn't end up uh, working out for these bad Larrys. It's tough. Uh, now this courtyard over here is getting really heavily assaulted. We got an ARC Trooper over here trying to hold his ground with a DC-15A, but he keeps getting suppressed. He keeps having to duck down. He's not getting that opportunity he's looking for to get some hits. Bazooka Trooper over here, he might have been the one to take out some of those AATs, but he's launching some fire out here. He is getting some kills. Holy cow. Good for him. Way to go, buddy. Um... But he's in a tough position. He's taking a lot of fire, and he's going to be a prime target for these battle droids to really hit at him because he's in he's exposed over there. Let's see. What's going on over here? Wow, lots of dead droids. Okay, so I was right about this choke point. I'm kind of sad we didn't get to see it, but um, these clones got a lot of kills, and they still technically hold this uh, courtyard as there's still more clones and Jar Jars around here um, with which to defend this little area it's just that the droids can now peek out a little bit farther um, because they eliminated some of these guys but this area is still on lockdown by the clones it's a little bit more shaky now but look they got a lot of kills so way to go way to go clone boyos not to mention the palace guards i keep saying clones but these palace guards are legendary i, I actually really enjoy the design of um uh palace guards Someone's, like, moving a suitcase down the stairs. I told you guys it was move-out week, and so there's a lot of, like, noise pollution right now in my dorm room. Makes it hard to make videos. Um, hopefully you guys can't hear that too much. Uh, this uh, center area is getting fired upon. What is happening? Stop making that noise. Luckily, Padme is sort of in this more entrenched area, so she's not going to take any of this flack that these clones on the outskirts are taking at the moment. Um, so she'll be able to live, uh, hopefully a little bit longer and then, uh, defend just the bridges here. Um, she's also got two of these, uh, miniguns protecting her. Oh my god, someone's still making that noise. I really hope you guys can't hear that. Yeah, they, they got two minigun bros over here. Oh, this defensive area over here is doing quite well. There's quite a few palace guards left alive over here. Droids are sort of running rampant around this area now running through the garden. These droids love their gardens. There's also like this tiny little entrance area over here with like four troopers that just never got touched really by these droids and they, they have not exposed their position so perhaps a holdout for the future. We'll see. Um, droids continuing to make progress this way. We can actually look at the stats right now. Blue are the, the clones left alive. Red are the droids. I mean the clones are they're definitely losing troopers more and more now but they're still holding like they're still doing a nice job genuinely oh nice okay so this guy's got some blue balls <laughs> that came out very wrong uh he did end up dying i meant the little blue grenade ball things but whatever the final defense is still sturdy these guys haven't lost any troopers so there's still hope for the clones to uh finish off this defense strong but they're 
Their outskirt defenses are sort of crumbling at this point. The droids are in this courtyard now. There's spatterings of resistance, as we can see by the minimap, but just not a lot left alive overall, I'd say. Um, there's a lot of droids left alive, actually. I'm kind of surprised by that. I thought they would have taken more losses by now, but like I said, there's still a chance. Ooh, Rocket Trooper over here takes some pot shots, ends up dying. These two Jar Jars, they can't do anything with their... They're grenades, so they they end up dying. There's, oh, these two died. I was kind of hoping they would live a little longer, but they bit the dust. A couple more in here died, too. And now, it's on to the final defense, I think. Padme. We'll see if she can, um, she can hold out with her troopers here. Who's firing? Oh, sir. What are you droids firing at? Maybe they're just doofing around. There's also these guys over here still who just never got attacked in this tiny little area, which is kind of cool. All right, I want to see this Padme attack or defense. Okay, a few droids coming up the bridge here. Open fire, clones! Clones! Did they not notice them? There you go. Nice, buddies. Took them a little while. All right, getting a grenade out there. It wasn't super necessary, but I suppose you can go that route. And uh, they quickly eliminate those troopers. Oh, actually, there's still one alive who's, like, repairing himself right now. Don't worry. He will die soon enough. Soon enough. I'd love to see Padme get some sweet kills here. Huh? Droid's coming on all bridges right now. Clones responding in turn, though. They're, they're doing a nice job. Here we go. Padme shooting. One palace guard over there goes down. But the clones are holding. People are in solid positions. They can certainly hold for at least a little while. Let's see. These droids are getting shots off, though, which is slightly concerning because it does mean that the clones will be suppressed or, worse yet, killed um, by those shots. So that's a little, a little bit dangerous, but they're still holding out here. Still doing okay. Silence on the front. Da, 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 da. Oh, here we go. More droids coming in. Fire going down. Grenades coming in from the droids, though. A couple more losses for the clones. I think those grenades that dislodged them were, were kind of devastating. That's, that's tough to have, to have to take those on. Because once you're dislodged from your position, you're obviously not firing, and then the droids are able to sort of hit you a lot harder. Um, but so far, they're doing okay. They're getting these kills. They're holding these bridges. So it's not all... What? How'd you get in the fountain? <laughs> Sir! You know what? Arc troopers, they know they know the best positioning. They're, they're elite soldiers, so they know what to do. Guys! Guys! Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, people. It's a little risky. Arc trooper over here going down. This The right side over here seems to be the weakest currently. Um, with troopers dropping over there quite a bit. Alright, we're still holding okay, though. Still maintaining a lot of fire. Still got a lot of troopers left alive, which is good. You gotta keep those numbers up, up, up. If you start, like, really, like, just losing so many troopers and stuff, then you're gonna be, you're gonna be in a world of pain later on. You need to keep as many soldiers alive, and... It looks like they're they're healing up, which is nice. Um, you know, the more the more they maintain themselves, guys, guys, you have to look at both entrances. There you go. Finally, you're making me nervous here. Oh, terrible grenade! You dislodged a bunch of your own troopers. That's rough. You can't, you gotta watch if you're gonna if you're gonna take the risk of using a grenade. You you gotta do it well. One of the uh, machine gunners over here did end up dying right there. That's tough to see. There's still one alive. Those troops are valuable. You gotta keep them alive, too. This is hard because the droids really are surrounding them right now. Maybe if it was a single bridge that the clones had to defend, um, this would be going a lot better. Not that it's not going well. These clones have definitely killed, like, at least two or three droids apiece. But um, if it was just one bridge that they were funneling troopers down, they'd be totally killing the game, but... They're surrounded by three, so it, it makes it a lot harder. Guys, watch your right. They're so bad about rock watching the right. Guys, 
Guys! <laughs> Help! Thank you. I don't know if they like making me nervous. What's going on here? Y'all are just... You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Oh! Machine gun opening up over here. Whew. You know when you gotta break out the machine gun, it's getting desperate. More clones are dropping. They still have a solid amount of troopers, though. This guy's laying in the fountain now. Apparently his uh, helmet is breathable underwater. Airtight. Which does make sense, considering the clones did survive for a time in space. I've talked about this before, but I do believe the clone armor was likely airtight because uh, they would not have been able to survive the vacuum of space without airtight armor. So, therefore, they'd be able to uh, survive in water for a limited time. Their, probably their oxygen supply, though, isn't very long. I suppose his helmet's sort of sticking out, so maybe he's being able to replenish his oxygen through the fin or something. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. These ARC Troopers holding out, though. They will keep their senator alive. Dang it. They'll keep her alive. Look at these droid bodies piling up. Way to go, champs. Proud of you. Only one machine gunner, though. That's a, that's a little concerning. That's a little concerning. D the troopers are definitely limiting now. Droid numbers also going down significantly. They're down to like half of when they started this attack here. But also, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Guys, shoot them. Dang it. <laughs> Thank you. What is wrong with you troopers? Oh god, this is a bad, this is a bad one. Oh jeez, the machine gunner. Just spray down that alley. Please. Maybe Padme's blocking his view. Padme dies so the machine gunner can work. <laughs> okay, they, they subdued that side. How's this side doing? This side's still cruising forward a little bit. Arc Trooper's still firing at them pretty well. This side's also attacking, though. God, the clones keep having to split their time. It's tough. Oh, God. Padme. <laughs> She's the one who's, like, consistently firing. Dang. How many kills you got, Padme? None. Okay. How about you? 11? This Trooper has 11 kills. Machine Gunner has 6. This guy has two, this guy has nine, this guy has seven, this guy has eight, this guy has five. Water Fountain Boy has one, so he's not completely useless. I'm genuinely impressed by a lot of these clones. Um, props to them for getting so many dang kills. We'll just see if Separatist numbers prevail in this instance of battle, because um, a lot of the times, simple numbers can just win a battle. For the separatists which is uh which is a shame for the clones because they uh they fight so bravely they get so many kills and then they're just simply overrun it's a common common happening in the in the clone wars truly but i mean we got this this area is still on lockdown these arc troopers are impressing me they got this not to mention we still have oh there goes another one that's a vital guy too he was he was doing a lot of work he had a lot of kills the um the clones do still have that tiny alleyway with like five troopers left alive so maybe they'll, they'll get some kills too and save padme they also have one turret left alive on the outskirts of the city that the droids are gonna have to take so there's a little bit on the outsides guys stop letting them come in so far fire your dang guns there you go machine gunner is really focusing in over here but i think he should fire over here he'd have better accuracy but he doesn't like doing that. All right, dislodged from the position, but it wasn't disastrous. It just it just sort of loosened up our defense a slight bit for a moment there, but we're back in the game. Back to firing away. Yeah, heal up if you got to. During these lulls, just take a minute. Just take a sec, you know? Just repair your body, repair your armor. Take some pills, pop some pills. <laughs> you know, do what you got to do. I get it, man. I get it. Oh, this is actually a really fun battle. Holy cow. I, um... Enemy forces inbound. I didn't really... Expect... Like, I, I don't know. I thought I think it's a cool map, and I think it's a, a fun defense to begin with. Oh, God. Oh, we're losing more clones over this way. Oh, that's bad. Water Fountain Boy, you gotta start doing more, bud. 
Um, but like, I, I didn't expect it to turn into like this legendary of a battle. I'm really, I'm thoroughly enjoying myself during this. I have to say. Let's see. There's really not that many droids left. They could hold out. Minigun guy has eight kills. He has thirteen. Padme still zero. This guy has one. This dude has four. This dude has twelve. Do we want to get Padme a new gun? Oh god, huge attack. Not gonna do it right now. After this attack, we'll try and get Padme a better gun. Oh no, water fountain dude! <gasps> He's dead. That means the war's over. <laughs> he was the one true savior. Water fountain guy. Oh my god, he's still alive. <gasps> I thought he died. He just smoothed positions. What a legend. Oh my god, water fountain guy. I love him. I love him so much. All right, Padme, we're getting you a different gun. Pick up that blaster. Your pistol's crud. Pick up that ammo, too. She only had like 20 bullets left in it anyway. Oh god, huge droid push over here. Padme's on the ground over this way now. Huge grenades going off. No, water fountain, dude. No. Oh, okay. Padme's dislodged. She's back up, though. You gotta get that kill. Someone... Oh, nice. Good teamwork. I am fully invested in this defense. No! Oh, with Water Fountain Dude down, this is, uh, crippling for morale. Let's get Padme back up to her, uh, her position. Look at this. They're just staring at each other, this droid and these guys. Oh, he's repairing. Huh. Still got... Machine gun guy could be the savior of us all. There's really not that many droids left, though. <gasps> no, Padme! Padme gets shot by the, the droid over there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Machine gun guy. Last stand. Oh, God. He's dislodged. That's never good. No! He went for the grenade and died. <gasps> uh, wait, there's a trooper over here? What? All right. We gotta try and get some kills with this boy. It's not over yet. Clone resistance movement. Clone resistance movement. I'm almost tempted to turn this into a trilogy. Though we have already done a Naboo trilogy. Would it be obnoxious to do a second one? Ah, no, he died. What do you guys think? All right, well, the droids clearly have to attack the final position over here. The ever prestigious courtyard the foyer to which is heavily guarded i don't know if it's heavily guarded it's guarded let's see we got one captain arc trooper uh soldier there gungan really only one clone which is the most powerful unit and then a bunch of guards with pistols and one droid with some balls um so i don't know we'll see if they can hold for a little bit oh god Man, if Water Fountain Dude hadn't died, they would have won. That was really good, honestly. There was... I really thought the clones had it. I really thought they had an airtight defense. Hey, guys. Ah. Well, that's a, uh, a shame. Why is this guy walking so slowly? <laughs> that was weird. And <laughs> the rest of them get absolutely slaughtered. All right. This last guard over here, he's actually got eight kills. That's not bad. Buddy, hop out. You're going to run to your vehicle over here. Hope, but Hopefully it's not damaged beyond repair. Its sirens are going off, so I think it might be able to move. It does have 34 kills. That's kind of impressive. So you're going to hop in that, and you're going to take off. You're going to tell the world what you saw here. You're going to start the resistance movement. There's still like a... A whole batch of droids somewhere over here. Where are they? Oh, I think they got themselves stuck on top of that. It's kind of funny. Let's see, can you shoot them? Maybe the gun's broken, I'm not sure. It moves so slowly, holy cow. Maybe a non-damaged one would move faster? No, there's no time. We can't do that. We gotta make, make our getaway in this one. Wait, let's see. Are we able to fire this thing or no? I think the main gun is damaged on it. All right, well, he's making his brave getaway back the way the droids came. He's going to go tell the world what he saw here and that Padme Amidala is captured. 
Oh, man. This was intense, man. Holy cow. Like, look, yellow are dead clones and Gungans and dro er, and um, Nabooians. Um, red are dead droids. Droids lost. This was a solid defense by the clones. Let's be real. The clones did it. They're absolute champs during this. They got so many kills across the entire battlefield. Um, and the droids, they really, they took a beating. This is like the main force right now is like 20 guys in here. There's another three over here. There's another three over here. And then maybe another 20 over here. So there's like 40, 50 droids left alive. I think these guys could have held maybe. I think it was luck that the droids really ended up stopping this D or like going through this defense i think it was a lot of luck and that the um the clones maybe if they had killed one or two more droids they would have held like this was impressive this was an impressive defense i gotta say so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i sincerely enjoyed making it let me know if you want this to be a trilogy because i would happily make this into a trilogy because i think it's a cool map and i think it could be really fun um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed covering subscribe if you did and i'll see you all in the next one peace I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.